Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Happy versus Focus. This game taking place here on Rusty Creek. It would help if I chose a view where you can actually see everything. Burrow Rush, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Not sure where you are watching from the world, but for all you guys out there, thank you for tuning in as I well, try to fix some things in my setup. All right, there we are. Let's go ahead and break things down in this Undead versus Orc matchup. Happy, the Emperor, perhaps um, the greatest player right now. I'm not going to say the GOAT because, well, um, it's difficult to define the GOAT without playing, uh, paying homage to or giving credit to where it is due to the players that have come before you as, well, players are better now than they were in the past just because there's been so much advancement that's been made. Same thing can be said about any sport. As we're looking at happy opening things up with altar of darkness crypt tomb of relics and it looks like it will be ghouls and a death knight coming back around on the other side of the map we are looking into well voodoo lounge blade master and grunts coming out from the barracks where are the sounds coming from oh crota's live <laughs> someone was watching um right if i go hello all right all right is would you instantly know that like oh wait crota's live Anyways, Death Knight now going to be tra training up here as things do get underway. I'm still trying to find a way to fix my overlay to show um, to show the classic um, classic icons. For some reason, it just is not working, and I don't quite know how to fix it. If anyone out there knows how to fix uh, W3 Booster so that it no longer shows reforged icons, do definitely let me know. Blade Master now going to be training on up here in just a moment. Yeah, I those those reforged icons. Maybe at some point my eyes will get adjusted to it, but that the scroll of town portal just looks so different to me. And and the healing salves, well, scroll of speed as well. Maybe it's because of their size or their or their uh, the contrast it just doesn't quite seem right. And also the scroll of town portal is supposed to be yellow, not blue. So that always seems to confuse me a bit more. Death Knight now looking to clear out this wildkin creep camp. And this 442 creep camp here getting in some skeletal minions down. It looks like a scroll of mana. Yeah, it does look like a scroll of mana. But I wonder what a scroll of mana actually looks like then. Or per perhaps did they not really know the difference and then they were just um, used to that. I wonder if the the team that worked on Warcraft 3 Reforged actually played in the classic graphics for a while and uh, well maybe they haven't had 15 years of learning what all of the icons and all of the characters would look like so that's why they all seem so foreign to the, the professional community, the caster community and even the casual community after so many years. Death Knight now making its rounds, looking to move off to the north here. Going to go after these Wildkin 442 creep camp as well. Once again, going after that Forest Troll Berserker and really using those skeletal minions extremely effectively to try and well, absorb and tank a large amount of damage. There is an Unholy Aura followed by a Death Coil here. Meanwhile, down to the south, Focus now with a Blade Master. Going to perhaps try and haunt, harass as the Nerubian Tower is right there. There is some damage onto that one acolyte there scroll of speed now being used and an acolyte will get taken down level two now on the blade master and now getting the heck out of there before that nerubian tower finishes off blade master still trying to find where exactly that blade that death knight is but the death knight has round wandered off to the north and this is exactly one of the things that you i would normally be very very scared about death knight here able to do a lot of creeping without having to worry about his opponent and you know well focus knows that he's gonna have to deal with the level three a uh, death knight rather quickly all right um still comparing the icons death knight here compared to the death knight icon there the blue eyes and uh, seems like blue lipstick i know it's supposed to be because he's supposed to be all frosty and cold um but once again that is an introduction of uh, World of Warcraft and the Frozen Throne animations as opposed to, um, well, just Warcraft 3. Coming back down around, Blade Master looking to finish off the Centaur Outrunner and it will get taken down. Manual of Health now picked up dual replenishment potions being used there and now we'll be heading off to the north. Death Knight, a, an army of ghouls, skeletal minions, no rod of necromancy charges, but a decent number of items as the orc 
as the peons now go into their orc world is going to go straight into some repairing as well if you see i did we see a death of a peon there yes we did as the orc worlds are starting to fire back at those ghouls grunts are coming over as well to try and protect blade master seeing that level two does have decent damage there's a wind walk strike right there trying to get that damage their beautiful use of a wand of illusion to body block the blade master from being able to chase efficiently now as we go into the tech to tier two focus is uh, focus is already going into tier three as we are looking into shadow hunters as well and focus's base is well well for lack of better words rather focused and tight it isn't a sprawling city as i've seen some other orc and um, orc games and at some point we do need to see that war mill down in order to get those reinforced defenses to deal with well crypt fiends and some other units here the blade master and um, creeping um early on uh, by his lonesome self or with only one grunt has opened things up for the blade master um well for the orc player to now be very very close to tier three meanwhile we are not even hitting tier two as of yet for happy death knight wandering back across here we're looking at double wands of illusion keeping track of things as the death knight wondering how exactly the shadow hunter has already come out this early six minutes into this game and is now picking up some additional strong items as well blade master looking to push pressure back onto that death knight meanwhile lich is already being trained up and happy realizing he is behind in the tech race now teching the tier three while establishing that slaughterhouse yeah, right at tier two, undead players want to build a slaughterhouse, want to train up their lich, and want to tech to tier three um, while not falling behind in overall economy. Blade Master ready to put in some damage. There is a level two windwalk strike. Is he going to have enough to finish things off? There goes another there. Now trying to go off more and more of those acolytes and the halls of the dead at timing. This is beautifully played by Focus here, knowing that he's going to have to force his opponent to um, cancel that tech to tier two, lose a little bit of gold, and in order to summon up that acolyte, Lich is back out now onto the, or back now onto the battlefield. I can't say back out um, as he, this is his first appearance, but anyone who's seen Happy Play knows exactly what I mean. Death Knight coming back around. Cobol Taskmaster of Creep Camp going to get cleared up. Death Knight should get closer to level four and then perhaps allow that Lich to do a lot of the creeping by his lonesome self. Meanwhile, Shadow Hunter sitting comfortably at level two, going to be getting closer to level three as well. Blade Master looking to finish off the Centaur Sorcerer pick up a powerful item it is going to be a potion of greater healing exactly what he or and what he wants and ordered as we see him a time that healing salve and wind walk in order to be able to wind walk with that healing salve going um small small tricks that professional players do to buy time as this is a real time strategy game and it really is just a game of seconds Blade Master going to go after the Centaur Sorcerer, going to get take it down exactly what the doctor ordered. Yeah, well, Potion of Invulnerability would have been just as useful, if not more, as the Blade Master. Now with plus 13 damage, two potions of greater healing and a potion of invulnerability should be very difficult to take out. All right, coming back through the Lich, I believe that is a, is that a Ring of Protection? Um, no, that is the Ring of Superiority. All right, so the Ring of Superiority actually looks like the Ring of Superiority off in the other side there. Um, coming back through Lich, Death Knight on the move once more. Uh, well, yeah, Death Knight, Lich now on the move once more. We're going to go ahead and engage Death Coil onto the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter, Frost Nova, and could get taken down. And well, it's, you know, Potion of Healing used in the time and absorbing a, quite a bit of damage is now the shadow hunter trying to still retreat back here torrent chieftain does it have stomp it does and stomp over endurance or a first may actually come out a bit ahead as the death knight gets the death coil um in t no, oh, shadow hunter beautiful level up death knight was in animation for the death coil i thought he was going to try to save the crypt fiend he doesn't save the crypt fiend and instead targets the shadow hunter who gains just the right amount of hit points to shake off the damage from that death knight's death coil beautiful timing there and well a double doubling down on the hero only to see it actually coming back to haunt him there as an obsidian statue well oh, oh my gosh is he going to be able to get away that frost armor looks to be enough no torrent chieftain trying to catch up to that target and finally takes it down coming back around lich death knight dark ranger now looking to retreat back a little bit of timing and focus is not letting up off the gas at all 
going after the razor main brutes here there is the razor main chieftain as the units are going to try and retreat back the razor main chieftain could deal some big damage across some of the other units as well trying to take down some of those units there's an ensnare onto the death knight death knight now silenced onto some other you um onto the the torrent chieftain torrent chieftain unable to get the stomp blade master could be in trouble there's a potion of healing but still needs a potion of lesser invulnerability or perhaps a healing wave from the shadow hunter to save that blade master blade master is in trouble and the blade master gets taken down shadow hunter now could be taken in problem as well as the razor main chieftain comes across and well uses the boulder fighting in front of the creep camps now going extremely well for happy as the torn chieftain and the shadow hunter now need to back away kodo beast are trying to make the best out of a bad situation as the razor main chieftain is still saying get out of my house to everyone unless you are a creep death knight finding and surrounding a kodo beast right there torn chieftain once again gets silenced are we going to see a shadow hunter heal level four now on the death knight as the death knight now uses a scroll of town portal to get away torn chieftain trying to finish off a couple of additional units as they retreat back aggroing the creeps back once more torn chieftain may try and throw down a stomp no gonna save the mana as the lich death knight and the uh, lith death knight and dark ranger now making their way back over again true shot aura on that blade master not part of the plus 21 damage kodo beast getting in an additional now plus i believe plus four damage yeah oh i believe the war drums are still the level one variety i'll have to double check no it is the level two variety so already some big damage there blade master with plus 21 damage could give the items to the shadow hunter as the blade master still has well more item slots for more survivability items and more damage all right, going after the next Razor main chieftain is key here. How much damage can be done? There is one destroyer out there. Are we going to see a couple of ensnares on perhaps some totally suspecting Crypt Fiends? Damage trying to whack back up here. The Razor main, uh, Razor main Brute and Chieftain coming to engage. Blade Master getting a free easy shot and kill on a low hit point razor main there as they look to retreat back a little bit of a standoff three-way standoff here as the razor mains are just trying to fall asleep off to the side as there's a turf war right in front of his house death knight well death knight now well we spot a shade amongst all of this the blade master not going to be getting any easy easy bits of um, easy bits of sniping as the blade master will be revealed level three level three level two there goes a quick frost nova on uh, and death well and quick death of a raider there are 610 hit point unit pretty much instantly taken down dark ranger now sitting at level two torrent chieftain now trying to lead the charge here as he tries to finish things off and here we are torrent chieftain throws his foot down gets in a stomp as some units are getting destroyed here death knight now in trouble down to 400 hit points down to 300 hit points as he's able to break free right there no hex and, and enabling the death knight to get away meanwhile death or blade master still continuing to throw down a multiple stomps to try and finish things off there goes the destroyer a ghoul could get taken down as well as the healing wave keeping the well orc army alive blade master gonna try and finish off another torrent or another crypt fiend surprisingly the blade master does not have an orb of lightning allowing purge onto some of those units and attacking the air units and those destroyers which have been able to get away all right little still a little bit more healing getting under right here destroyer blade master trying to finish things off trying to finish off the well finishes off the lich and now going after some final other other heroes as the destroyers in the air could just completely get it taken out as well as we're looking at crypt fiends getting taken down one at a time as we see another hex finish the job there 46 supply compared to 44 and now happy behind in supply while trying to resurrect his lich razor main item gonna end up going to the to, uh, to the well blade master or who had it all right boots of quilt loss plus six agility now plus 29 damage on that blade master Tra i'm still surprised that the true shot aura is sitting on the blade master instead of the shadow hunter as well item slots are very very precious on that blade master or is it gonna be sold nope not sold all right especially with all of the um, berserkers there Coming back around into the corners of the map, Death Knight still doing a bit of clearing out on these creep camps. Hood of Cunning, Death Knight now looking to finish off the remainder of this creep camp here as we're looking at the well, Dark Ranger about, uh, getting closer and closer to level 3. Coming back down to the south here, m the majority of the creep camps have been cleared out. Only the south red creep camps are um, available as the lich is now out here on the battlefield extremely close to level three as well 
Dark Ranger opts to go for level two Black Arrow. So we could be seeing some um, well dark minions out on the battlefield. Blade Master now perhaps going to try and find things to take them down and well burst down some of this. There's a stomp, but mid stomp gets a silence and he's unable to put his foot down. Um, feels like a father trying to discipline his kids and getting stopped by his wife right in the middle of saying anything as the Kodo Beast not speaking from experience at all. Death Knight now looking to continue to fight this battle here. Torrent Chieftain in the frontline spot could throw down a stomp here. No, does not get the stomp down. Could have finished off the Crypt Fiend as we're still fighting our way through. Stomp cooldown has come to an end here as we're con continuing to try and throw down a stomp again. More Raiders are getting picked off once more. I believe that was a scroll of healing there as Obsidian Statues are now starting to get burst down as well. Blade Master not chasing after the Obsidian Statue. 122, uh, 122 hit points there. 41 supply compared to 42 as the Death Knight and Lich still battling it up here. Kodo Beast trying to run away um, from all of that as we see a massive stomp, but that is just mainly hitting a lot of dark minions. Not that important of a target as a Kodo Beast gets taken down once more. Blade Master finds that a low hit point Obsidian Statue. Another stomp comes across here trying to finish off the Death Knight. Death Knight has a potion of lesser invulnerability and, well, uses it in time to save himself from a random strong critical strike. Shadow Hunter gonna have a little bit of problems. Potion of Invulnerability transferred over as well as we're looking at a massive, massive retreat underway. Blade Master, Shadow Hunter gets a little bit of Healy Endurance Aura trying to keep everything going as the units are able to retreat back. That fight definitely belonging to Happy in that situation. We're looking to clear out some more of Creep Camps here as the Death Knight will get, or Wow, just shy of level 5, 14 experience shy. Um, Lich, Dark Ranger, staying comfortably at level 3. Meanwhile, Blade Master trying to take down this Berserk Wildkin while he can, perhaps to try and get back into this game. A little bit of a risky maneuver. There's the Ensnare, preventing the Berserk Wildkin from retreating as he is going to get easily taken out. And well, finally, t oh, nope, not finally taken down seven hit points. One more shot, a death knight, nowhere nearby. Final shot right there. Berserk Wildkin takes it down and picks up a hood of cunning, agility, and intelligence. Big, big damage on that blade master. Now sitting at plus 35. All right, Dark Ranger Skeletal Minions now going to try and engage True Shot Aura on that Shadow Hunter as I expected it to be. Blade master with plus 35 damage. Once he gets the level three critical strike we could see some well rng come into play and burst down these enemy units and um, very quickly perhaps not the death knight but the obsidian statues and the crypt theme because a sudden uh, well chaining of critical strikes from a blade master could it take down enemy crypt fiends anyone who uh, anyone any undead player who complains about the Blade Master has not really been on the receiving end of a level 3 Death Coil or a level 3 Frost Nova, which pretty much instantaneously burst down any unit as well. Blade Master not going to continue engage. There is there's a 210 critical strike. Um, we're looking at a little bit more damage. Could it get up to 280 on that critical strike or higher as the Blade Master now needs to make its way back over there. All right, Frost Armor greatly reducing the effectiveness of that Blade Master's critical strike. And it's interesting to see the, the meta shift going back to this classic style of play with Blade Master, Shadow Hunter, and then finally that Torn Chieftain as that third and final hero. The Torn Chieftain out on the battlefield adds faster attack speed um, to that Blade Master, allowing him to get in more hits, which is absolutely important. Blade Master now going to be coming in from around the backside. Happy is actually sitting in low upkeep. Shadow Hunter right there. There's a Windwalk Strike. There's a quick Death Coil for the safe. Torin Chieftain does not throw down as there's a Dust of Appearance on the Blade Master. Blade Master Potion of Invulnerability is in time. Shadow Hunter will need to get in another big heal on that Blade Master. Blade Master down to 29, 30 hit points. There's a big heal as he might get blade uh, burst down anyways, down to 79 hit points. And well, an overcommitted all in a blade master gets taken down as the torrent chieftain now tries to take his place and well joins him in well joins him in death as the shadow hunter now trying to retreat back here 
the army of Happy is just that much larger. And now with the level four Blade Master and level three Torrent Chieftain out of commission, what is really going to happen as the Lich and Dark Ranger now fighting their way through? Obsidian statues retreating all the way to the back. Berserker after Berserker now getting taken down. And yeah, dust and shade so much, um, so much revealing right there as we're looking at low hit point Obsidian statues and destroyers off to the side, just hiding in the corners of the map. And what was uh, a very, very close game suddenly unravels for Focus as Happy takes the game here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and get this up to um, well the ending so I can show out the scores right there. That was a very, very strong game overall. But Happy coming away, purposely going into a low upkeep even the lower end of low upkeep just to have a small army size advantage right at that start and that small army size advantage really transferred through thanks for watching thanks for listening